Welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk about the ear and how it's formed. And the first thing is to remember that the ear has sort of an anchor, upside anchor kind of shape. And it has a Y that, that kind of curves in the middle. Well, it does curve in the middle. And once you remember those two things, you can get the rest of the ear pretty fast. So I'm creating here a more refined sketch of where all the shapes go. And you can see that there's many sections to the ear and this will help you create the right shadows. So you got the shape like this and then you have two areas. The bottom area is shaped like a heart and the shape above that is actually a little football so and you can see where i put in the shadows how the form is and i highly recommend getting a book on sculpting and they actually go through how the ear looks and what parts go out and what what parts are synced in so after you get the hang of this, this is just like second nature and you can just focus on painting, getting all the shadows and colors that you need. You can make a more realistic ear. There are variations in shapes of the ear, but in general, these are the main parts that you need to know about so that when you create a concept character, you can just Put whatever type of ears you would like. You can uh, make some modifications, put earrings on them, put different, you know, piercings in different areas. And you know how the muscles are and where um, you can exaggerate. So we're going to look at the different parts again really quick um, after. Because you need to know even the side view and the quarter view and the back view of the ear. Here's what it looks like when it's from behind. And you can see where, because you know where things are located and how much they come out from the head and how much they go in, you can start coloring and actually putting the shadows in the right places. This is what the side ear looks like. And you can see the different shapes, one, two, and three. And then you have that shape there. And you can see where it protrudes out you just gotta remember that part where it protrudes out but remember ears are different so but these are just basic knowledge of what what the ear actually looks like and so when you start sketching you don't have to worry about does my ear look right or whatever you'll know where all the parts go and you can make the adjustments that you need as you shape the ear because what you're doing is sculpting the ear you're not drawing it you're sculpting it if you think of it like a like a 3d figure you can see how to angle the ear like this right here so it's a angle that you you can see where everything is and where to put in the shadows you should draw the ear maybe 10 times a day just to get the right feel of it and and then you can create you know elf ears or you know those middle earth type of characters and whatever it is that you're desiring to create so these are the different shapes or at least the different views if you have any comments remember to subscribe like and share this video and ring the notification bell for my latest videos and you know, share your thoughts on how you mastered the ear. And uh, thanks for watching.